This time we have a blue and white stamp featuring the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. We can see that this stamp was issued in the United States, as it says on the left side, and is worth 4 US dollar cents. We can also see the President's signature, which is on the right side of the stamp. Notice that there is no postmark or cancellation, and that is because this stamp is in mint condition and has never been used. Looking it up online, I learned that this stamp was issued back in 1959. Okay, so quick correction. That's not a picture of Abraham Lincoln. It's actually an illustration of a statue of Abraham Lincoln. It's the Lincoln Memorial located in Washington, D.C. And this stamp was to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the birth of Abraham Lincoln. It certainly wasn't the first and not the last stamp of Abraham Lincoln. In fact, I just found a few looking through the box and you can see here that there is another statue image of Abraham Lincoln. Actually, that statue image is also commemorating the 150th anniversary of the birth. It was also issued in 1959 along with this green one right here. Now, Honest Abe, as he is affectionately known as, is a very well-respected historical figure for the United States. He, of course, was president throughout the entirety of the Civil War and is known for bringing an end to slavery. He was also assassinated just days after the Civil War ended. But you can see how well-respected he is based on all these stamps that he's issued on, as well as the fact that these stamps are sometimes a statue of him. I mean, think about it. He's so respected that his statues get to be featured on stamps. That's like a whole nother level. Now, staying on the topic of statues, this isn't the only time that the Lincoln Memorial has been featured on a stamp, including this one, which was as recent as 2014. Also, this one back in 1923, which was issued the year after the Lincoln Memorial was opened. This is the building that houses the statue. Now, hold up, he's not just on stamps. He's also on the money, including the $5 note, which on the back has the Lincoln Memorial. And up until recently, the penny, which does feature his face, had on the back the Lincoln Memorial. So both Abraham Lincoln and this building and statue are of some serious significance to the United States. And it got me thinking, just looking through the box, I found a lot more imagery from Washington, D.C. Besides some of the famous buildings located in the nation's capital, there are a lot of monuments in D.C. that pay respect to people or events, and some of them have made it onto stamps. I think it's time for a trip. Well, I'm gonna take these stamps with me.
Whether you are exploring Washington DC through stamps or get the opportunity to actually go in person and see it, it's a beautiful city uh, with plenty to see. And the Lincoln Memorial on its own is impressive. The statue took four years to build and stands at six meters tall. But put it this way, if Lincoln was to stand up, he'd be 8.5 meters or 28 feet tall, which is a really big statue. Some other really interesting things to see inside the monument itself are the two speeches, the second inaugural speech, as well as his Gettysburg Address, which are carved into the walls. There's actually a spelling mistake that everybody looks out for, but I won't tell you where that is. Also, some people believe that there's a second face carved into the back of Lincoln's head, but it's really just the way the hair is all lined up. But the myth is that it's supposed to be General Lee, which would mean the sculptor was sympathizing with the South. It's all false, but still something fun to look out for. Hey, so if you need to catch up, hit that playlist button and watch all the episodes. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I post more content. And if you're not yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.